마이크 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 마이크 요즘 한국어 공부 열심히 하고 있죠? 아, 네, 열심히 하고 있어요. 한국어 공부한 지 얼마나 됐죠, 마이크? 2년 정도. 아, 마이크 네. 한글로 쓰고 읽고 하는 거할수 있어요? 네, 할수 있어요. 그럼 네. 마이크는 평상시에 영어를 많이 써요, 한국어를 많이 써요? 아, 영어를 많이 써요. 그래서 이번 미션은 저희가 특별하게 마이크 한국어만 쓰고 일주일을 살아야 됩니다. <웃음> It already started off really challenging and I had to seriously use all the Korean skill I've ever learned to complete this challenge. So on day one, I met with my, with my girlfriend and told her that I was doing the seven day challenge where I would only speak Korean. And most of the time, we only speak English because she's very fluent at English. <laughs> And she started speaking Korean back, I already started having difficulty. So right now I'm actually attending a hot dog which happens every single day for hours. So one day I was in desperate need of some face wash and so I decided to go to the store face wash Even though I did speak to them and kind of tell them what I needed, I struggled the whole time. I actually had a really hard time describing what I needed. And so in America, I would always go to Subway because I love eating at Subway, right? So I took myself down to the subway and tried to order subway for the very first time in all Korea. I realized that there is a lot of words in Korean that use the English. Like pickles, I don't don't even know what the Korean word for pickles is, and I'm glad that there's actually like this little sticker with a picture. Because if I didn't see that, then I think I just would have been very, just very mangaeso at that moment. So I tried watching Mr. Sunshine, which is this new historical Korean drama. <laughs> 태원군, 태원군, 태, 태원, 태원? 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 
Can you put that to English? I don't know. Wait, Hamilton! Nonsense! Definitely. Are you saying my name? <laughs> it's a little awkward, right? Because we don't really have that same kind of connection. Like, I have to tell you, the one thing that kills us as foreigners is ordering food. <laughs> lived in Korea now for four years. I, I live in this kind of bubble. The people who I'm closest with, they only speak English. And I think I can speak for a lot of people who are foreign that live here, and they feel as if they don't really have to learn Korean because there's so many English signs everywhere. There's so many people who can speak English. So it's kind of almost like you can live here with ever, without ever learning the language. But this week, with this challenge, it took away my English. And I was forced to rely on my Korean skill. And in that sense, I learned to really appreciate the fact and the art of understanding the language of the country that I live in. Because although I struggled, but it kind of helped me establish these new relationships with people. Yeah,